It's been six weeks since we've lived here, which has flown by. I know. It's gone so quickly. It feels like we were only just doing a QA and a in the UK, but it's yeah. been like a month and a half now. I feel like it's about time mm -hmm. we sit down with you guys, we have a big chat, we have thousands of questions that you guys ask I wish, us I wish every we, yeah. day. <laughs> I wish we could answer all of them, but we filtered them down to the most important ones that you guys keep asking us since we moved to Australia and just about our life in general. So we're going to sit down and we're going to have a chat and we're going to talk about it. We are. I don't know what else to say. I need to see if this is bright enough because Rosie's skin colour looks good on every single setting. Oh, but you'll just blend into but the sofa. But I'll just blend into the sofa. So how does that look, guys? Welcome back to our channel. You guys have left us so many comments since we moved to Australia. So we have picked out... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> we have picked out the best questions to answer for you guys. Starting with... How much did it actually cost us to move all the way from the UK Australia. to Australia? That is a question that I don't want to be reminded about. Yeah. Because it was a lot. We've spent the last five years, literally from the day that we met, saving for this moment because uh -huh. we knew it was not a cheap process. We've written down the main big costs of the whole entire move. Obviously, there's a lot of smaller ones that we're not going to just include, but the main big things that anyone would need to do and anyone would need to consider if they were going to be making a move abroad uh -huh. are Harry's visa cost, mm -hmm. which was £5,000. By the way, Rosie doesn't have a visa because if you're an OG to our channel, you will know that she's Australian. She lived in Australia for 10 years. She has residency, so I was the only one that needed a visa. The biggest expense of the whole entire thing was flying our dogs 11,000 miles from the UK to Australia, having them be in quarantine for 30 days. I did not realise how expensive this would be to fly two furballs across the other side of the world. I, I just thought, I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be this much. It cost us £15,000. £15,000. For all of their tests, all of their vaccines, yeah. their plane ticket, their quarantine, anything they needed in quarantine, their second flight from... Oh, I didn't actually include that. So more like... £18,000. Wait, what? Their flight from Melbourne to... Yeah, to Brisbane. Oh. So £18,000. If you guys didn't hear that right, £18,000. Mm -hmm. Converted to Australian dollars is about 35000 Australian dollars. Just for our dog. <laughs> <laughs> we could have brought a house. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deposit it's for a house. It's worth it though. Orange family. That is a deposit <laughs> on a brand new house. That just goes to show how much we love our dog. We because did. I would not have left them in the UK. Next biggest thing was our plane ticket, which was £2,500. Then we shipped over about 14 boxes of just random stuff like mm -hmm. our clothes, scrap books and photo albums. That cost us £1,000. Most people that move abroad will probably have to buy a load of new furniture again. So like all the essential items like TV, sofa, fridge. bed, fridge, washing another, machine. Another the guest bed upstairs. Everything. So far we've spent around about £10,000 on furnishing the house and mm -hmm. it's not even done yet. Well, this whole thing was way more expensive than we thought. Like we've always rented a house with stuff in there. We've never yeah. had to buy our, our own, own furniture. furniture. So like furnishing a house, we didn't think it was going to cost this much, but we haven't even scratched the surface. Another big expense that we had was hiring a car for a, a month when we first got here, which was £1,000. And then on top of that, obviously we had the cost of our house, the car, our car as well. Which is personal preference. Personal preference. So we're not going to include that. That, yeah. yeah. So excluding that, we have spent £35,000 on this whole trip, which is around about 70000 Australian dollars. But guys, remember, we have saved for like five years. years to make this happen. If you guys have followed us for like, if you're OGs to our channel from back five years ago, four years ago, we've spoken about this day and this whole time period in our life for so many years. So we have saved every penny for this move. And, and it was so worth it because now we are in our dream country mm -hmm. and we're finally feeling settled and happy and just like we Definitely. have a purpose in life. Just because we move for that money, it doesn't mean you guys need to move for that money. That's just what, the, our, circumstances what our circumstances were having dogs. But yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> so how are we actually able to move to Australia? Because moving to Australia or moving anywhere in the world is not easy and if it wasn't for Rosie I would not be able to move to this country as easy as I, as I have. I was raised in Australia, my family is all Australian, I have dual citizenship of Australia and England which mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for. Which people forget because you don't have an Australian accent. I don't accent. have an Australian accent. You've lived in the UK for like 12, 10, 10 to 12 years. The whole visa process for Harry to get his partner visa was a very, very time consuming thing. And the day that you got accepted on your visa was just so emotional. It was well. so I remember hard. sitting in the car crying. Yeah, we were like on a dog walk and we just could not believe it happened so quickly. One bit of advice, if you are going to move, put every bit of evidence as towards your relationship you possibly can. And it definitely helped that our job is doing social media because you literally type our name in on the internet. And, and you it can see that we're yeah, in Yeah, so like that was probably the main key as to why they they were like, well, they're obviously legit. They're not faking it. So the more you can prove, the easier you're going to get it. So how are the dogs both coping with the heat? Well, let's ask them. Daisy Boo, up you get. 
Come here, baby. How are you coping with the heat? Is it okay? You look, you look fine. No, but in all seriousness, I was a bit worried about the dogs coping with the heat because going from a completely different climate in the UK where it's very cold most of the time to coming to Australia where here every single day it's early 30s. 30 degrees. But yeah, the dogs are coping with the heat absolutely fine. I'm so glad that they're all good. What is the one thing we are the most excited about living in Australia? Guys, let me tell you, it's not the spiders, okay? <laughs> and it's not the snakes. The thing that we're the most excited for about living in Australia I don't know about you. I feel like we have maybe might have different things, but for me, it's just the whole different lifestyle, the lifestyle of being able to be the healthiest versions of ourselves, the happiest versions of ourselves mentally when it comes to our relationship, ourselves, our work, just day to day life. Most importantly, as well, one of the most exciting things I'm most excited for about living in Australia is starting like a family. family. Of course, <laughs> I feel so happy here. When did you ever know me to wake up at 6 30? Exactly. Guys, never. I have woken up at 6 30. I mean, not every day, don't quote me on that, but I have woken up at 6 30 at least like three times. Here. I have never done that in the UK. We're most excited for family, the lifestyle, and making our content for you guys the best it can possibly be. You guys mean so much to us. Like, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys anyway. Like, this whole dream of doing YouTube is the reason that we are able to move here, and that's been a, a, a goal anyway, and it's come true, and this has come true. So, we want to give you guys back the best content we possibly can. I promise you you're going to get that, because living in the UK, we weren't going to do that, because yeah. it came with demotivation. Can't be bothered to do this. I can't be bothered to do that here. Oh. Guys, I can't wait for you to see what we're about to bring you. Yeah. Did you consider moving anywhere else in the world other than Australia. We did. We actually did. We actually did. We've never spoken about this no, ever, have about we? About a couple years ago, if you guys remember, I actually surprised Rosie with a trip to the Maldives. Whilst we were in the Maldives, we were on like this like high. We were like, oh my god, I can't believe we're here. And we just had this random conversation. We were like, let's move to America. It was so spontaneous. We, we were just like specifically LA. We were like, Yeah. I feel like LA could be so cool. Like maybe. everyone we've watched on YouTube back in the day was always like LA, LA, LA. And yeah. it, just, it looked like the place to be. It looked like um Excuse me, me too, Daisy. Me too. <laughs> and after that conversation, we got back home and we realised that we were getting way too ahead of ourselves, and we were like, we would just be moving to LA for work purposes. Yeah, and we were only going to do it for a year as well. It was going to be almost like we were going to move to LA, and then from LA, we were going to come straight to Australia, weren't we? It we wasn't were. like LA was going to be like a full time place for us. Australia has always been where my heart's been. It's always yeah. been where Rosie's heart's been, and we realised like it didn't feel like we were, we were going to move there for like healthier, 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 life healthier life. And that's what we've always quoted for. We've always wanted to have a healthier relationship, the happiest relationship we can. Ever have the healthiest we ever we ever can be and yeah Australia just ticks that box so now this one's interesting the best change we've seen in each other since moving to Australia for me Rosie has been so motivated like I have never seen someone so motivated she's up at 6 30 a.m she's down here she's journaling she's got a lemon water <laughs> that is what I've seen I've yeah okay yeah so the biggest change I'd say that I've seen in you since being here mm -hmm is the amount of coffee that you're drinking. Oh yeah, <laughs> so much iced coffee. You no, know, the biggest change that I've seen in Harry since we've moved is again, your motivation. My happiness. And your happiness, genuinely, like from a day-to-day -day basis, everything you do, you're just happy. You're like on a yeah. constant high. I can't stress enough how important it is. You're not happy, just move. Get out of where you are. Yeah. It doesn't have or to be- just change your environment. Yeah, it it's doesn't have to be Australia. Your just change your environment. It just makes mm -hmm. your whole life so much more. If you're feeling demotivated and you're, you're living in the same town you've always been in, move town. Move yeah. city, move with some friends, get a big place together and just rent it for so cheap. Like just do anything you can to change your environment. I promise you that is the key to feel good. A lot of you guys have been asking us how has it been making new friends since we've moved and if we have made any friends since we've moved. The answer to that I got so many friends here. Is <laughs> our dogs are our only friends. <laughs> you guys are our friends. You know what? We're meeting so many of you guys here. You guys are our friends. Yeah. You know? Um, I mean I have my best my best best friend lives on the other side of Australia and yeah. she's coming to stay with us in two weeks time so like my best friend is here and I have been speaking to a few other girls since I've been here but we haven't got any friends here really like it's yeah. we are just in our own bubble with our, each other and our dogs and stuff I'm not really in the search for like I need friends I need like I guess no. like, I'm just if it happens it happens you yeah know? that's like, what we were saying the other day we we're having a big conversation about how like we're ever gonna make new friends here and stuff but it's one of those things where like a relationship you can't just go searching for it otherwise it just won't work out so ask us this question in six months time yeah I've got my best friends I can FaceTime them all the time it doesn't really matter I've got you guys I see you guys all the time on the street you come and say hi to us we have like a 10 minute conversation pretty much every yeah. other day and I guarantee in six months if you ask us this question we'll be like we've got a whole friendship group yeah so the last question now that we've been here for over a month are we feeling homesick are we missing the UK are we missing our life in the UK no you answer uh 
Absolutely not. <laughs> I can only speak for myself because our situations are slightly different. My friends and my family are in Australia, mm. only four hours away, whereas Harry's friends and family are 24 hours away on the other side of the world. So for myself, no. I felt this horrible weight on my shoulders for the last 10 years of my life living in the UK. So yeah. for me personally, I will never view that country as home. Therefore, I will never feel homesick. I'm not, I'm not homesick. I don't think I'll ever really be homesick. I'm just looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to all my friends and family coming out, making more memories. Like when, even when we came here four years ago to Australia, I felt more at home in the month of us traveling Australia and the whole of my life living in the UK. So, but guys, that is the end of the video. We hope we've answered some questions. If you want us to do another one, pop loads of questions down below. There's so many more we can answer. But guys, if you're not following us on Snapchat, we post so much on Snapchat. Make sure you follow us on there. Make sure you follow our Instagram. And of course, TikTok. And of course, YouTube. What are you doing? Yeah. Let's subscribe button right now and turn on notifications on. And guys, we'll see you in, in another, another video. Peace. I feel like I said peace at peace. <laughs> Don't I? 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 Don't I?